Welcome back to Metroid Dread. I'm your host, Elder Director Jester with the Disco. Alright, let's move on in uh, Zone 1. I'm still in control, we haven't died yet, but uh, I think what we will do is we'll use the Amiibos. There are two Amiibos that came with this, and I think there's only two that are, uh, that are usable. Yeah, there's only two for Dread. I don't think any of the other Metroid ones actually work. Well, it says Metro related, but uh, but it doesn't give you the kind of bonuses that you got here. Right. Because with, I got the uh, Samus Dread Amiibo, and that, whoop, this gets you an extra energy tank. That's going to be really helpful. And, and, and it also heals it, too. Yeah. And then we got the uh, the gigantic Emmy Amiibo here. Oh, I love God. it. Yeah it's, yeah, it's great. Give me all the big meebs. Oh, yes. Go ahead and scan that one. All of that for a missile tank. <laughs> Another missile tank. Hey, it increases by 10 instead of 2. Yeah. Cool. So, yep, we're, we're sitting pretty now. Ultra super powerful. Let's go. Let's go. No more dance party, Samus. <laughs> I love this, though. Oh, the hand. The hand. It's going to be a while before we get Morph Ball, but when we get Morph Ball, her hand will be on the bottom ledge. To immediately climb up. Yes. You can even aim while you're like this. It's just so many excellent, excellent uh, animations they have here. I'm just thinking of that slug and how he was having a great day until you walked in. And, oh, yeah, we still can't well, get it. Still can't get it, not until we get Morph Ball. Give me the missile! But that's okay. Back in this enemy zone. Uh, Where's the sound effect? Can we go up here? Oh, uh, yeah, this is just an energy refill. Yeah, that's all that is. Emmy zones close for a little bit when you leave them. I think it's just to reload the room, honestly. Yeah. Like, talking game design perspective. This is just... Yeah, yeah I can't there. get up there just yet. I'm waiting for the sound effect. Oh, oh. there he is. Oh, oh. ping on the radar. Me. <laughs> okay. We're good, we're good. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> Help! Yep. It's all okay. Oh, yep, 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 I would actually yep. kind of love it Shoot, if Samus so. was just like, Shit! Shit! It's okay! It's fine! It's fine! It's fine! We're okay! We got this! It's okay! Don't have a heart attack, Miss <laughs> Aaron! You're fine! Alright, here we go. Oh. These things again. It's, it's gonna be a lot easier to take care of them later, that's for sure. Are you saying we increase our power in Metroid games? I, I know it's uh, not really typical what? of a Metroid game, but in this what? one, you get stronger as you play the game. What? Mobility becomes increased too. Oh, it's, it's, my I, God. I, I know. This is all the innovations for this one. I was, just, I was just about to say, yeah, Metroid Dread pulling out all the stops. What are you trying to do? Look at the, just the water shooting off the surface. Oh. Just... Another example of Nintendo water being better than everyone else's water. It's also muffled. Hmm. But only when you're in the water. But only when your head is in the water. Only when you're getting a swirly from Kraid. Oh, another save point. Next time on Metroid Dread. Oh, I'm yep, kidding. Yep. I'm kidding. <laughs> Not yet. But at least we unlock this one. I like how fast that saves. Yes. It's just one quick swirl and then you're ready. Now, Dread was designed with the Switch in mind eventually. I think it was going to go DS. I think, before it was cancelled? Yeah, DS was where it was going to go, and they tried to do it a couple more times, but it just didn't work. I'm gonna get that. <laughs> now, this that being said, when it got when it finally came over to Switch, it's doing the Mario Odyssey thing, in where pretty big map, amazing amount of save points. That way you can play it on like a bus ride. Yeah. Or a commute. They want you to play in bursts. But if you're like me and UDJ, you basically played through the entire thing in the opening weekend. In fact, I think you did beat it within a day or two. It was a great day, and I played it like a few more times, and I'm happy I'm playing it now. Because I've, I've said before, I would rather have a game that has six hours of really good ideas than play an 80-hour game that runs out of ideas halfway through. This has all good ideas, it's just... I mean, I mean, look at this little area right here. The lighting here, the shadow you got going on there, there's a lot put into this. I, lo I love this little room! I love this little room here! It's great! I'm gonna gush at every single room, I'm sorry. 
This is gonna be a long one. There's there, there's one uh, place in particular. Well, I also want this to last a bit too. Because <laughs> I fucking love this game. Ooh, Check uh, it out. This is the map room. Look at all the, look look at this room. The Kozo Wars on the side. The inscriptions. Everything like that. It's, I love this game. What is a salmon? Oh yeah, let's take a look at uh, the rest of- Oh my god. I like this map area because it's kind of like a vague indicator. And, uh... The, the, the map you see there, that's it. There's no, like, big hidden hi, big hidden rooms or anything like that. This is, this is basically it. But there are hidden rooms. It's just that, well, one might be kind of like right here. You just need to keep an eye out. M or maybe, like, you know, it, it ends here, but, oh, there's, like, some space up here, and you go there, yeah. well, sure enough, or maybe over here, there's a space that's flashing, hmm. There's so, also a few blocks above that yellow space up yeah, there, which means you, know, you can go higher. There, which can maybe it loops back around here, you know, you know, you never know. And also, as previously mentioned, 6% of the items in this area. Yep. The yellow areas are save areas, the purple areas are elevators that take you to other areas. Oh. So now we got that. Good to go. Let's go. Now, uh, just, just die. one thing we're we're going to get into eventually, and it's when we start picking up power-ups. Uh, they changed expectations. What do you mean? Well, in a normal Metroid, let's say Zero Mission, you're getting Morph Ball first. That's th that's definitely first and foremost. Here, they hold out on giving you a Morph Ball for like a while. By design. Yes. It's not like we missed it or anything. And... It... You are so much better at that than I am. Oh, good job on the missile tank. Yeah, I wanted to get that at least. Just want to get whatever we can, and then we'll do we'll do our bit of backtracking. Maybe we can even take turns on the Shine Spark puzzles. Yuck, yuck, backtracking? Yuck. <laughs> what kind of game is this? A waste of my time? No, a Metroidvania, which I guess is a synonym. That is true. They are one and the same. Where'd the map go? It goes away with- Ah! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh, well, found me. Oh, okay, alright, 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 alright. Right, right, right. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm okay with getting out of here. Hey, Emmy! Back up! Uh, oh, well, Gonna need the white beam for that. I think we gave it the slip. Alright, here, this, this one's really nice. We gotta stand on here while the water fills up. And oh uh, god, he's uh, gonna find us! Uh, Woo! Yep. Woo! Yep. Woo! Hup! Hey, oh, it's not done yet. Oh, well, this sucks. Um... Okay. How well. good are you at playing cat and mouse? Pretty dang good. Okay. Like I said, it's easy to bully these things. They're, they're quite stupid. Because there's no bionic matter uh, keeping them, uh, keeping them smart. But they're freaky! So that's done. Go over here, slip over here, and then... Hello! See ya! It can still find me, I think. And that's when Emmy discovers water slides. We there we go. Take us out just fine. Little uh, little re uh, heal everything in case you really had a problem. But yeah, we're we're fine. We're experts here. No issues whatsoever. Immediately dies. <laughs> no, not yet. Ah! Actually, was there a save? No, it just not yet. Us. Where, where does that take us? Let's go see. Time to explore. Let's do some exploring. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just having fun. By the way, I think that's the first time you've ever gotten hit. No, I got hit a couple times. Oh, I guess I just never noticed. That's cold, though. But this... Ah, yes. You can't go in there. You can at least kill that. We can take a look at the cold. It's, it, lo it looks nice. Oh, uh, one more bit of... One more little added detail. You can see the cold coming off of the room right now. Obviously. That's how cold it is. Then you open it. You hear crackling. Or sis, you, you, you know bad stuff is in there. But... It's so cool. It is. It's, it's 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 very cool. It's cold, actually. And these are just mm. doors we can't open yet. But now, uh, this is familiar. You can break this any way you want, like a melee counter. Ha! Charge beam! Hey, there it is. The charge beam. That's your first power up. Usually, it's like an optional one. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, it, it, it is what it is. Charge up and fire. Charge, charge it up, fire. You can char charge it up. You got a little charge screw attack in the meantime as well. Way more obvious this time around. You open up doors that just don't have the right power. You can kill some enemies in one hit. Very nice. Does that mean we are transferring energy to other areas? Wow, this is beautiful. We're we're back where we started. 
Oh, yeah, we are. Except back it, at the beginning of the game. Is it filling out more water? I think so. Did we do that? I don't know if we did. Are we destroying this ecosystem by filling it up with water? Well, it's going to get worse by the end of the game. <laughs> Samus, what are you doing? You're destroying this entire planet. Look at uh, there. See what I see? An E-tank? E-tank! Actually, I would kind of love it if the Federation said, oh, we sent Samus to destroy that planet because she's really good at it. Every time she goes to a new planet, it gets fucking destroyed. See, we tell her to destroy a planet, she doesn't, but when we don't tell her, she does. It's oh, how I got too close. Goes. It's how everything works. So the Federation just sends her to, like, enemy organizations, like, different Federations, and it's like, hey, we sent our best bounty hunter in there. She has a, a she has a kind heart. She does not blow up planets. <laughs> I've, I've been reading the, the log notes in Prime, and uh, <laughs> the pirate ones are really funny. Oh, does it have, like, updates on what the pirates are seeing or experiencing? Yeah, it's like, well, everything's going good, except for these things, and that stuff over there, and, and all this. But, you know, we, we, should, we should be fine. <laughs> and I really hope that hunter doesn't show up, you know. <laughs> you, you know, that one, that, that, that hunter, really hope she didn't show up. That'd be really cool if she didn't. Alright, where, where are we going now? Gotta find a... can't go that way, there's nothing over there. Uh, there's a thing up there, in that corner. We can't we get to that yet. We cannot get it yet, yeah. Aha! A spark of inspiration. Let's save here, it's, a, it's always good to save. Careful, there might be a power outage and we might not be able to use the dock. <laughs> I think this runs on magical Chozo energy. Don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> oh, I could've sworn that worked. I thought it would too. Huh. We can go this way, though. Oh, that's Ooh. Well, can't get that yet. Wait, you can? We don't, we don't have the bomb. Ah, that was cool. That was a big indicator that you can now... I think that means you can now beat the Emmy. Yes, that means that... Well, it doesn't happen every time. This means that something is watching you. I wonder what it could be, though. Hmm... Methinks the Emmy has an extra set of eyes. Somewhere. Damn it. Can't go in there yet. Oh, that, 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 okay, I'm going this way. Just going this way. It's okay. I just enjoy the creepy atmosphere. This is what I came here for. This is why it was released in October. Thank you for the Halloween game, Nintendo. Boy, I think you're right. All right, I'm getting this wrong. I should go this way. Oh, yeah, this way. Sucks to suck, Emmy. Ha <laughs> ha, loser. <laughs> and now Where they want me to go here. And now my canon of troll Samus will come to fruition. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't want to go all the way back though. Do I have to? I think so. They kind of lead you around the same point over and over again. Kind of. I think that or I just got lost constantly. It is easy to get lost. It's a great game to get lost in. Oh, here we go. Up there. Right up here, because there now is you can go through here. that thing through there. There we go, new place. Ah, uh, yes. The infamous David Jaffe room. What? Oh, you know, you didn't, you didn't hear about this? No. David Jaffe, director of God of War, was, uh, was stream and Twisted Metal, was streaming this game. And he's just here in this room saying, what do I do? Oh, there was actually a lot of... What do I do? There were so many devs who couldn't figure this out. What do I do? There's no visual indication of what to do. What do I do here? Hey, shoot up. Every single person who's played a Metroid game in their lives didn't even give it a second thought. They just come in and just... <laughs> oh, uh, you know, just oh, yeah, just, just shoot it. It even tells you at the beginning of but the game that blocks David, can be shot. But David Jaffe called it bad design because he didn't understand it. Well, that's the same people who couldn't get past the tutorial of Cuphead. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. As far as I know, it's just one guy who couldn't do it. I don't know, have you played that tutorial? I beat the game. Fucking impossible. Yeah, that one's obviously hot and fire and death. Let's not go, go into the hot fire death. Definitely not go that way. There's multiple rooms of hot that's, fire death. That's, uh, locked in, so we can only go this way. Another save point. Seems promising. Always good. It, it, we're turning on the lights as we're flying through the planet. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The electric bill's gonna go straight through the roof. Can't tell you how happy I'm we're playing this now. <laughs> so happy we're playing this. It's fun. And I uh, hope you never die. 
Just so people don't have to see how bad I am at this. Well, if, if, if I do die, we go back to you. We won't be uh, there for that long, will we? Shut up. Although I do set myself up. And here we go. This redirects the thermal fuel, which means that uh, these special doors are now open, but this also means that other doors are now closed. This also means we have opened up a new door in the Emmy room. That is right. Okay. Okay. I just can't wait to see mission accomplished 100%. It's gonna be nice. Because I have not seen it. I have not seen a 100% run yet. This kind of, you know, leads you through here. Yeah. So you see it over there, and it comes through here. This this no glowing pipe here, very nice. That's actually a very good indicator. But now can even save the here other doors are closed. Until you talk to Adam. Uploading data. There was no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of the chosen warrior tribe. There is a strong possibility that... Yeah, he looks kind of birdie. I mean, he even looks kind of birdie right here in the amiibo. You have seen the warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the Emmy after you? It's what we call a trap. I, I don't know. I think I'm here for a purpose, you know. The situation remains unclear. Either he forgot to kill me, or he didn't for a special reason. <laughs> Maybe because he was charging his arm cannon, it just fizzled out and he went, oh, sorry, this this doesn't happen. Maybe he's a really bad shot and he just kind of missed. <laughs> it at point blank range. But, but I fainted, so he kind of stripped my clothes off and tossed me down a hole. I'm just thinking he's like, eh, good enough. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an Emmy. Yeah, I think that it's kind of linked. The Omega energy is linked to the Emmy. So kill the Emmy, lose the Omega. There are six Emmy. There's not very many, but that's okay. They are spaced out pretty good. They don't overstay their welcome. They are there at the most crucial moments in the game. Because I was kind of worried that that's what it would end up being. Just a survival horror Metroid and there's no exploration or anything fun like that. Hey, I'd be down for that. You kidding? Yeah, I'd be okay with it too, but I also want some fucking Metroid in my Metroid, you know? Not just, you know, chasey chasey scary scary. <laughs> some Metroid in my Metroid. That's going to be really hard to, to keep going for a while though. That is true. That's why I'm glad there's only seven. The magic number. There's only seven, ah! but these things are still really dangerous, I, 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 I could have jumped in there, oh well. Ah, oh well. Everything is fine. Yeah, I could go through here. Was that the best idea? Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good idea. It was what you had to do. Oh, well, well, okay. <laughs> Head up here, though. Th yeah, I think this is the control room, or at least near it. Yep, just, yep, just we're close. About. Just about, and there here we it is. are. Hello! Yo, what's up? Oh, hello! When did you get here? These things look very mother brainy, as I mentioned. So maybe this is like, I don't know, brother brain. Shoot a whole bunch, missiles work good, or charge me if you don't have any of those. If you need more missiles, you can shoot these uh, spaghettios. Yeah, another connection to mother brain. Has the guns, has the Rinkos. Same thing. Yeah, just keep keep it simple, you know. But then he loses that after a while. Phase then, two. Then it becomes really brainy. Shoot more the more simple than just a uh, regular gunfire. Yeah, though, shoot so. the disgusting brain. Oh, missile! It come on, we got plenty. I like I like to I like to mash though. It feels good. The thing is though, when you kill one of these things, and you absorb the omega energy, the enemy the enemy knows exactly where the hell you are, and is on its way to find you and the source of the omega energy. Like, it is booking it. It goes, Mom! Mom! Hey, 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 hey! So they add a little something extra here. Every time you get into one of these rooms, you have to aim, but now you have to hold Y to do a rapid fire thing. That gets things really hot. And then you hold the charge. And... And then kablooey! That is also an indicator that that's what you might have to do with this Emmy. Gotta find a good spot to do this in. Nice, good, long corridor. Oh, here's this, one right this, here. This is great. And we gotta wait for him to come down. All oh, right. here it comes. It's coming through coming that door. This way. All right. Now run. Go all this way over here. By the way, this Turn part's around. awesome. It can come through the door. He's gotta shoot a whole bunch in the face. Shoot a whole bunch in the face. So it gets red Eventually enough. Eventually it'll break. And 
Goosh, and then you charge, but it's gonna and book then... it usually. Very right Fire. And... Boom! I love how it was doing dance moves on its way to you. It went up, and then it went down. Well, it's one enemy dead. And all of that for a brand new ability. Which is... There is no spider ball or spider grip this time. All you have is just... Spider-Man. Spider-Magnet. It's Spider-Man with a get in it. Because we get Spider-Man. Practically, okay. yeah. So now... We can attach to the blue walls. Yes. We're Spider-Man. <laughs> God, I love it. A lot less annoying than, uh, you know... The spider ball. Yeah, get into ball form, you go on the wall, and then it's just all of this, that, and the other. This is another good thing because when they give you a new, a new uh, ability, it's usually a way out of the enemy room that you couldn't do before. So here we just hop up here and go down here, and that comes down. Woohoo! Opening up this door. Well, outstanding. Game design, what's that? I, I, I know! So effortless. Can't make it all the way up there, though, so we know that there's more to explore still, so don't think that you're, uh, you know, hot shit just yet there, Buster. Enemies make their way into the enemy because the enemy is not there to destroy them, because I'm pretty sure that's what they would do. Make our way up here. This is a blast away door. Ding ding. Missile! Hi, I'm Missile. <laughs> then you... <laughs> then you think, you know, oh, well, where do I go now? And then you hit that and then... Mm -hmm. There you go. Ta-da! How much input do you think Nintendo had on this? Because they, they pretty much left it in Mercury Stream's hands. I think they had some Nintendo guys working on it, too, like Yoshi and Sakamoto and all that. Kind of one of those, oh, hey, why not Why not do it this way? Because I noticed Nintendo's a company oh. where they just, they casually suggest things that are better in the long run, and that is disgusting. This Kill is, it. This is our new eye door monster. Kill it. You either shoot it a bunch when it pops out or do the melee counter. Like that. And then fire. And then it's gone. Huh. It's interesting. Curious. It's a Chozo statue. Oh, and here we get to our first real boss. I like it. It didn't like that, though. No, it did not. <laughs> Slide underneath. God, I love remember that. that. First-person view is so cool. All right, here we go. Kill the thing. Shoot it in the face a bunch. Uh, with missiles? Missiles, particularly, yes. Ah, yes. Attack patterns for days. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, very nice. Eh, eh, eh. Very nice dodge. Alright, yes. Then there. Just sh shoot him right in the face. Easy. But then he gets clever and then he turns invisible. Except, you know, for the big glowing, disgusting pimple he has on his tail. So, yeah, shoot that a lot. Shoot the tail. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Thank, thank yeah. you for giving this monster a fighting chance and missing all those times. I know I'm giving you. Keeping cash. it cash. I'm just <laughs> keeping it cash, man. That's what this is. Ow! Shoot that whole bunch. He's like, well, fine. I'm just gonna go completely invisible. I'm gonna destroy my own tail so I go invisible. By the way, that you can't even see me. That red flashing is just a huge boo boo. And then right there. Underneath, and then uh, oh, you got it! Yeah! Boom! But oh, keep shooting! Keep shooting! Bam, boom! Bam, boom! Bam, boom! Missiles! Bam. Missiles! Missiles! Yeah, bam, missiles bam, bam. all the time! Oh, it's got you! Missile! 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 missile, missile, missile. Ah. All right, now let's do it again. There's uh, something different this time. Uh, disgusting puke. Yeah, disgusting puke and places to grab on, but you can still shoot him in the face a whole Oh yeah, shoot him in the face all, all day, every day. Ah. Oh, shit. ow, ow. Oh man, that hurt. I nah, probably should have uh, stayed tail? there. Oh, well. You can still hit tail? Nope, just face for right now. Oh, and I'm out face. of missiles! Don't need missiles, I can just shoot that tail a whole bunch. Oh, hey, oh, you got good. more. Ha, nice. Kick, kick it. Yep. Yeah! Oh, thank you very much for just giving me giving me that just that delicious glowing uh, point there. Uh, yep. That's gonna hurt. Alright. And go! Whoop! Gang it! And, and get missile all the time! Yeah, yeah, blam, yeah, blam, yeah, blam, yeah, blam, yeah, blam, yeah, blam. yeah! Taste it! Taste all of my tasty <laughs> missiles! 
I do I do love how Samus puts her arm around the face just going, there, there, buddy. Go. This is one of my favorite shots in the whole game. It's like, all right, yeah. I think we're about done here. I'm gonna go over here if that's cool. I hope you don't mind if I just uh, shoot this right what's, in your what's face. What's that? You're not done yet? All right, well then. Go boom! Oh, whoosh! Yeah! Love it! Oh! Oh ho ho! Hey, what? Wait, hang on. Huh? Hold on a second. Scoop. Can I get some of that? What is, what is in this glowing pustule you call a tail? Can I just rub this all over- oh. Oh, modern Kozo tech. Interesting. I wonder what this will give us. This is- this is Kozo mixed with Aeons. One of the, the best Phantom abilities! Cloak. Yes! Aeons in this game! They brought it back! Yeah! Best ability! Don't at me. Except for an ability we'll get later, but this is really cool. The Phantom Cloak. You can do a lot of cool things with the Phantom Cloak. Now, note, you have to have full Aeon in order to go Phantom. But the thing is, Aeon works differently in this game. I can just use some, and it comes right back. It's so good. I don't have to kill enemies to charge up anymore, it's, it's just constantly regenerating. It's amazing! Which, good choice, so We can use that way. to come up here, activate it, and get through these motion detector walls. Mobility is decreased severely, but that's just, you know, the way it goes. I think it makes actual, Going like, up. logical sense because you don't want anything to hear you either. Of course. And then you immediately start running again. Just that thing. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> stupid door. Where are we going now? Uh, probably over there, so going up. Yeah, what? No, I'm Fuck. Just... Didn't do any planning or anything for this, so. No, that's fine. We just gotta run through this beautiful set piece right here. You know, I would kind of like it if Samus' suit had like an automatic photo mode. <laughs> that way she could take pictures and put them at, at her, as her wallpaper. Gets back on the ship, just uploads all the images she's taking with her helmet. Samus has to have an Instagram. Oh, totally. The Samus Grams. Grams of Samus. Grammas Aaron. This one can be a little tricky sometimes if you don't do it right. We're gonna do it right. Things can knock you down, it'd be really painful to deal with that thing. And there's a big hurdy monster down there. Yeah, he's pretty hurdy. It takes some time too. Oh, some foyer! Oh, Ow, fuck, I have fucking. I... Ah. Alright, our first elevator. Going up? Going to over here. So, going up and slightly to the right at an incline. To Kataris! That loading. Mmm. Beautiful. I feel like I'm getting ready for a tsunami block. Only tsunami. Well, it's just like the... Infector subplot in Toonami. Coming up at four, Mobile Suit Gundam is 0089. After that, Gundam Wing. After that, G Gundam. Uh, Samus? After that, Gundam Seed. <laughs> After that, Gundam Blood Orphans. I, I didn't know she liked Gundam this much. Holy crap. So, okay, you could go over here, but you're gonna be pissed off. And you're like, what the fuck? There's like nothing over there. Well, yeah, there is. Because it's all over here. Yeah, get over there. This is where you really need to go in order to get things moving. What was in that room? Save point? It's just a whole bunch. Well, we could we could go check, but I'll show you why it's, it doesn't lead anywhere. It's an empty room, isn't it? Oh, well, a little something. Chances are I love we, these things. You oh, just... fuck these things. They I have love, hurt I love me them. so much. That's just fire hurts. Ah! And over there is just fire hurts. So nothing over here. A lot of fire hurts. But you think there's... I can't have come over here for no reason. That's why you figure out you come... You can, you can go ah. this way. running straight through the fire. I fire doesn't hurt as bad as it no, used to. It doesn't, no. And that's why it's, like, speed viable just to run through the fire. A lot of this is speed viable. Ah, oh, here let's we are. Let's let Adam know where we are. Hey, Adam, I'm in the fire hurdy place. Oh. Also, I killed a thing and can turn invisible. CPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. 
magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. No, nope. hey, why don't we do that? I have located the central routing system for the magma. It is here in Tataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore. Well, yeah, it's way too hot. I don't, I don't even think my regular suit, my regular suit could survive that shit. I need SPF Varia suit. Yeah. To find a path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Cloak ability. I am not authorizing it. Don't use it. We put a lock and key on that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's another thing that Phantom Cloak can do. The Emmy will not detect you. They can still run into you, but if you're hiding with Phantom Cloak on, they can't see you. But that doesn't mean that if one is actively seeing you and you put on the Phantom Cloak, it'll be like, where'd you go? They will still, they will still go forward. They will still run to where you were. Oh, yep, yeah, see, there, here there we there are. You go. So you still have to escape an area and then throw Phantom Cloak on. I have confirmed. I have confirmed. It does not kill you. It stops at one. It, yeah, it cannot drain you down to nothing. It stops right at one. That's it. Cool. Well, we're in a new area. We got a new ability. This is yeah, great. Looking good. All right. That'll do it for this episode of Metroid Dread, and next time we're gonna explore more Cataris and maybe not get ourselves burned in the process. Oh, this means Samus can't see anymore. It, oh, Cataris, not Cataract. Cataris. Got, got it. Oh, uh, yeah, dance party, please. Because we're in Metroid Dread. <laughs> missile, missile, missile. <laughs> Missiles for everyone. Gotta love the new game, Missile, Missile. <laughs> Bring it back! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>